<laughs> How's everybody doing? Haven't talked in a while. Nice little update. Got the stroker in. She strokes. Incredible amount of torque for a 4.7 liter. Um, I wasn't expecting a whole lot because it's still just a 4.0, but the torque is insane. Like just the, the weight of my foot on the pedal is enough to make the whole Jeep just kind of like, rrr, rrr, it's crazy. Front end wants to lift at lights, uh, especially driver's side, if you know anything about Jeeps. Super, super torquey. I'm loving it. The onboard air is amazing. Usually when we're airing up at the end of a ride, I can air up all four of my tires and then usually a whole nother vehicle and a whole nother vehicle before guys with the little ARB pumps can get three tires done. So I'm airing up three whole vehicles before an ARB pump will do three tires. Well worth the investment, I think. I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks worth of little parts and pieces to make this setup work. But once it's all said and done, you just maintain the oil system and there's really nothing left to do. So, so happy with this. We'll never go back. I don't care about AC. I'll sweat my balls off before I'll stand in the sun for an hour airing up tires. This is five minutes, literally five minutes. All the tires are at full PSI. I uh, got the little wolf whistle horn. Found some half doors for super cheap. Took one of these uh, hinge mount mirrors and modified it to be a door mount mirror. So now I have functional mirror. And steering wheel's doing great. Uh, what else? Hood vents, awesome. Bowless top, got everything ready as well for the 4th of July weekend. We're doing a three day camp. I've got the drone, I've got batteries, I got a car charger. So we should be able to get drone footage all three days of the off-road adventure trip. Now I am chopping more. I already did the Highline fender mod, bringing the fenders from this line up to this line and then chopping some of the hood out. But now I have some tube fenders. Thanks F and Jeep for the super great deal. I'm gonna pop those tube fenders on there and then uh, have a little more protection than just this you know, sheet metal. So these are actual tube going all the way around the perimeter and then they bolt in and nice and solid but you got to cut this out to get to this otherwise you got to pull all this out again and i'm not uh, doing that these uh fender liners stay and then you just screw the two fenders to the fender liners and you keep your stock fender liners but working on that today uh, a couple other little things to do but she's running great Thanks, Tim Buck 3 for the motor. And uh, if you guys have any questions, look for them in the video description. Tim Buck 3 he does Jeep stuff, transmissions, motors, all kinds of neat things. He did a head for Rusty's Jeep. So he's got a brand new head instead of the 0331 that tends to crack. So we've eliminated the possibility of that happening. So just a quick update. Now everybody's caught up. Be sure to check out the new videos with the drone. Be sure to check out the merch site and get you a shirt or a sticker or something. It's now getting back to normal shipping times within about five business days to seven business days. They're fulfilling orders. I know it's been slow for all you guys that have purchased merch and are waiting on your hats or your shirts or whatever. Sorry about the delay. There's really nothing I can do. It's direct to garment. They print it as you order it and they are backed up and I guess they can't get help. So if you're looking for a job, probably look in the printing industry because they are up to their neck in orders and they can't fulfill them fast enough. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Like the video if you liked, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.